Toyota Post Game Report begins with Mike Lines, head coach, and uh, you look at the um, the effort it maybe it took you to get to even in the second in the first half, and then you came up flat in the second half. Uh, in retrospect, was that was that it? You know what I mean? I mean we we've had some flat second halves, but I mean I don't I don't think this was as bad as it looked. I mean we had seven posts in the second half between posts and cross drivers or six of them, pardon me. Um, we had we had some good looks still. We didn't score obviously. Um, ran into a bit of penalty problems. Um, we didn't value our possessions in the second half like we did in the first half. We threw the ball away way too much. Um, I mean, besides that, I mean, it wasn't a terrible game. There was mistakes, obviously. I mean, we're playing one of the best teams in the league, obviously. They're a good club, best offense we've seen so far. And um, yeah, I mean, it, was, it, wasn't, it wasn't a great game, but it wasn't terrible by any stretch. I think you think about things, and uh, you don't have much time to dwell. Maybe that's good. Maybe you don't have a week or two weeks to say, what, what do we got? What's wrong? What's going right? What's going wrong? you got to snap right to it tomorrow, and that might be a good thing. No, it, it is a good thing. I mean, we after coming off a loss, it's nice to be able to jump right back on it. You know what I mean? Um, short turnaround, and, you know, I mean, that's that's a good thing, you know, for us to try to get out of our mind as quick as possible. Don't dwell on it, like you say, and, you know, bounce back, and then we'll go tomorrow night. And some balanced scoring tonight. You had some guys uh, pretty much across the score sheet. Uh, that's what you want to see because uh, that this team is not built around a guy like Ryan Banesh to, who's going to score three, four, or five each game. You need to spread it out. You had a bunch of guys had two goals. Yeah, and that's I mean we, we said this forever and ever. That's the only way we're going to be successful is you know having a balanced attack. And you know I mean it, it was evident tonight. Uh, we had guys stood up and played a pretty good game tonight. And um, you know that's the way it's got to be for us in order for us to be successful. What did you say to the, to the guys in the locker room after the game? Get it out of your head. We're on a flight in nine hours. You know, I mean, what, what else can you say? We can't dwell on, like you said. I mean, we got to bounce back and um, get ready to play more. Good enough. Mike Lines on the Toyota Post Game Report. <laughs> Toyota Post Game continues with Andrew Watt, the Toyota Player of the Game, and uh, boy, that was a fight just to stay even with them, and you just could never get over the hump. Yeah, I mean, we crawled back in the first half, and uh, you know, even it up. To get to nines and we were pretty pumped up coming in the half you know pretty happy on a high and then uh, coming out in the second half just came out a little flat and you know we can't do that in this league because a team like Boston will take advantage of it and, uh, and they did. You look at the uh, the line score and uh, you guys really did claw back right to as you said to get to, to tie it up at the half did you guys just get down in the, in the beginning of the, the third quarter there? I just think like I said they, we came out flat and uh, you know, I'm not not too sure exactly what happened. Uh, we had a power play coming into the first half or coming into the second half, so I mean, we were all jazzed for that, and it just, you know, they just solved us, I guess, and uh, we couldn't manage to put one by cause. We only got one in the second half, and you know, it's kind of tough to, to win ball games when we're only scoring with two or two goals or one goal in the second half, and I mean, in defense, we didn't. They scored the goals when they needed it, and. You know, it's just unfortunate that we couldn't shut them down and help out our offense a little more. Now you go to Colorado. That's a quick turnaround for you guys now. What do you think? Uh, yeah, a real quick turnaround. I think we're taking off about 6 in the morning. Flights got changed already because uh, of the weather coming in. Uh, we got to regroup and get it together, you know, take care of the bodies tonight and get on the plane and do it all over again tomorrow. It's, I mean, it's fun, you know, playing the game. That's what we're here for. And uh, you've got to come up with a win and uh, end this three-game slide run right now. We'll say this, though. It is actually great that you get to play in the morning, right? I mean, you got to put this behind you, learn what you can, rather than sitting on it for a week, maybe two, if you had a week off next week. Yeah, it's easy to get over a game like this when you've got to prepare for another team tomorrow, especially in division game. Uh, it's, it's huge. So, you know, we've got to come out tomorrow all fired up and ready to go. Uh, I can't really dwell on this game anymore. Now, I think I know you well enough to know that uh, individual statistics, individual highlights don't really matter. But I got to tell you, Andrew, when you take a look at that goal, I mean, that was a thing of beauty. Yeah, I mean, I just, uh, you know, I couldn't really tell you what was going through my head. Uh, caused bit on that little pump fake with the one hand, and I had the whole open net. So if I would have missed that, I would have been pretty disappointed. But, uh, you know, like you said, individual stats are only so good when the team's losing. But, uh, you know, it was a nice feeling to score that goal. Good luck in Colorado. Appreciate it. That's Andrew Watt on the Toyota Post Game Report. Toyota post game report continues with uh, Toyota Tundra. Rich Morgan, Rich, uh, thoughts and feelings in the locker room. What do you think? 
Uh, definitely tough loss. I mean, uh, they're a very good team, very well coached. Uh, but I guess we just didn't seem to have it tonight. You know, we need to just lacrosse is a game of momentum, you know, so we need to just keep chipping away and, you know, don't get down on each other and stay positive and just, you know, keep climbing the mountain. And, you know, it's a long season, so just got to keep chipping away, you know, and, you know, we're a very good team. We just got to, you know, believe in each other, so. That's, that's the bottom line. Uh, you look at the line score, what you guys had to do to get to even at the half. Phenomenal effort, and then I think it'll be easy to, to look back and say that was you expended so much energy to get there, then the second half you came out flat. But it couldn't have been that simple. No, I mean, 16 minute game, you know, you can't, especially in lacrosse, you come out slow. You know, it's, it's, it's difficult to get back against Boston, too, with all the, you know, the firepower they have. I mean, you can't. We can't come out slow. We can't afford to come out slow. I mean, we're a team, you know, we're a blue collar team, work hard, you know, loose balls and just we need to grind, you know, we can't afford to come out slow. We gotta play full sixty minutes if we wanna win games, so that's comes down to sixty minutes. Rich Morgan putting it in very simple words on the Toyota post game report.